Hey, all right. So while you guys are taking your fast testing, I know it's a big week. So we want to go ahead and get jumping into the, the quarter. I'm not going to ask a whole lot of you guys, but I really want you to um, practice this important week about reviewing these integer rules. So going forward, we are going to be working with positive and negative integers um, using one step equations and such. And so we want to make sure we really have these rules almost memorized at this point. So we want to um, go ahead and use them. Now, this is from the integer rules poster, which is my favorite set of notes that we've ever taken this year. Um, I always recommend you print it. You can laminate it. It can be your background screen. It just It's a great poster that just shows you exactly what to do in every situation. So we're going to do a couple examples of addition, a couple examples of subtraction, multiplication, and division. The rules by themselves are not difficult. What gets difficult is when you're dealing with all of them at the same time and you kind of have to remember, wait, which one does this? Which ones keep change change? Which one's this? So I think that's when it gets the most complicated. So in this case though, I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to do some examples. Uh, you can pause it, rewind it. If it goes too fast or too slow, but you want to go ahead and use these. All right. So we have addition, oop, me clicking around, don't mind me. Uh, we have addition and subtraction. So in addition, if you have the same signs, just like here, your answer is going to have the same sign. So if you have a positive plus a positive, your answer will be positive, a negative plus a negative, negative. If you have different signs, the first one, subtract the smaller from the larger. So whichever number is smaller, you want, you want to find the difference between the two. And the one with the largest absolute value is going to hold the sign. I think I explained this back in the day more of like tug of war. So if this was positive 8 plus negative 3, um, the 8 is bigger. It's going to keep it positive. And we'll do some examples of that. In subtraction, subtracting negative numbers no one likes to do. So what it will do is it will teach you to keep the first number, change subtraction to addition, change the sign of the second number, and, and then go back and use the addition rules. <laughs> so let's do some examples. All right, let me get my drawing tool. All right, so let's just say we were going to go ahead, and I gave that example, that 8 plus, well, let's just do this, 8 plus 3. So this is pretty easy. They're both positive, so my answer is going to be a positive 11. Now, what if they are both negative? Negative 8 plus negative 3. Your answer is going to be negative 11 because according to my rules, I keep them, my answer is going to be negative. Now, what if my signs are different in this case? So what if I decide to do negative 8 plus positive 3? So according to my rules, it says subtract the smaller from the larger. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 3 from 8, which is 5. Then it says, keep the sign of the number with the largest absolute value. So which one of these has the most power? Well, 8 is bigger, and it's negative. So that means my answer is going to be negative. Sorry, I'll put these in circles. All right. So it would work the same this way. Positive 8 plus negative 3. Find the difference between the two. So extract the smaller from the larger. So that's 5. But in this case, the 8 is still more powerful, and he's positive, so my answer will be positive. So that is the rules of addition. <coughs> so we're going to go ahead and do some subtraction. So if I were to do, five, oops, I hope I'm drawing, 5 minus 2, that's pretty common. You know that's probably 3. You could also do keep change, change in the situation, it would be the same. So we have 5, remember keep change, change, so we'll keep this number, change subtraction to addition, change positive 2 to negative 2. Now we're following those addition rules again. So just like we did down here, find the difference between these two, which is 3, and then the more powerful number, or with the greater absolute value, is going to keep the sign. So because 5 is positive, that means that the answer is going to be positive. All right, so let's go ahead and do maybe something a little bit more challenging. 
What if I decided to do 5 minus negative 2? I'm going to do 5 minus negative 2. So this is that keep change change situation. So we're going to keep the 5, change subtraction to addition, change the sign of the second number. So instead of a negative 2, it's a positive 2. And so now we have a positive 7. I know these take some practice. It's just over and over again. But please, just please refer to this poster. It'll walk you through step by step. Probably by May, you want to be able to not use this poster. But for now, use it. Have access to it. It shows you step by step exactly what to do. Okay. So these are some subtraction problems. I think I, I'm going to do one where the negative number is bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and do negative 7 minus negative 1. Okay, so we have negative 7 minus negative 1. So keep change, change. So I'm going to keep the sign of the second number, which is negative se or first number, it's negative 7. Change subtraction to addition. Change the sign of this number. So now we're at from negative 1 to a positive 1. Then we refer to our integer rules, our, our, our um, different signs rules. Find the difference between the two, which is 6. Bigger number takes the sign. Negative, so this would be a negative 6. It's kind of cool. OK. All right, so we're going to go ahead and, and switch gears. Now let's do multiplication division. This one is honestly easier than addition and subtraction. Pretty easy. Step one, multiply or divide like normal. We know how to multiply and divide. That's easy. Step two and three, same thing. Do they have the same sign? Your answer is positive. Do they have different signs? Your answer is negative. That, that, that's as complicated as it gets. So let's do some examples. I think I'm going to go rainbow this time. Woohoo. OK, two times three. Multiply like normal. Same signs, positive answer. Easy. Negative 2 times negative 3. Multiply like normal. 2 times 3 is 6. Same signs, positive. Opposite signs, negative. They have the same signs, positive 6. Woohoo. All right, what if I did negative 2 times positive 3? Multiply like normal. 2 times 3 is 6. Same signs, positive. Opposite signs, negative. So they're same signs. They don't have the same signs. They have different signs. So my answer is negative. And it says it right here. Do they have different signs? Answer is negative. It would work the same if we did positive 2 and negative 3. Multiply like normal. 2 times 3 is 6. And then they do have opposite signs, so my answer would be negative. So multiplication division is very much like that. All right, so we can go ahead and try this again. So what if I were to do, I don't know, um, six, div sorry, negative six divided by three. All right, so negative six divided by three. This is a fraction bar. It's the same thing as division. Divide like normal. Six divided by three is two. Opposite sign, so my answer is negative. Not too bad. 10 divided by 5, or negative 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Opposite signs, my answer is negative. I hope this video was helpful. It really is just a good review. Please just have that beautiful integer rules poster. It's right in your announcements. It's the very first and only note at this point. And I hope this video was helpful.